<laughs> very snowy St. Petersburg. It is October 29th and even though the snow has kind of been sprinkling the last few days, this is the first official day where there is like frost and it truly feels like I'm in a Russian winter wonderland with the Hermitage right behind me, which is where we are going this morning. So strangely enough, I've actually never been inside the Hermitage. I've been to St. Petersburg twice before, once when I was like 11, once when I was 15 or 16, and you know, looking at paintings wasn't exactly <laughs> how I wanted to spend my day. But uh, now I definitely have more of an appreciation for art. I can already see that the lines um, are absolutely ridiculous. Uh, I got here basically five minutes before it opened and it already looks nuts. I'm actually gonna see if I can get tickets online quickly because I was not expecting this. So yeah, I'm not waiting in line <laughs> when it looks like it's half an hour at least long. I just ordered uh, tickets online and an option that I decided to go for is actually two days of the Hermitage. So that cost $23.95 American, about 30 Canadian dollars instead of the regular $17.95 for a one day pass. So I'll actually see some art. staircase hallway that we are in right now is actually a part of the Winter Palace which is the whole beautiful green building that you saw on the outside. This is where the uh, royal family did spend a lot of time and what's really cool if you go into the first room from the grand staircase is that you get this beautiful view of the river. Look at that. If you guys saw my first video about St. Petersburg, you would have seen how one of my first days I actually took a boat tour, as you see those guys going through there, and you get just an exceptional view of the city. So if you are in St. Petersburg, make sure you take a trip down the Neva. <music> me as I quote what I just read on Wikipedia but what's absolutely crazy to me is that when Russia had a royal family and was like an imperial dynasty so to say Russia ruled 22.4 million kilometers square kilometers of land meaning one-sixth of the earth's land mass 125 million subjects I think by the end of the 19th century. That is crazy how much power Russia had.
I have been here for um, a little over six hours now and I think it's time to go home. But I will be back tomorrow <laughs> because I will <laughs> see as much of this museum as I can. <laughs> Well, hello guys. It is day two of the Hermitage and what I'll be seeing today that I didn't as much yesterday is a bit confusing actually. Even though there's separate buildings of the Hermitage, I think there's like 300 and some rooms, like it's just ridiculous. But the one thing that they do on the map that's a bit confusing is they call it the small Hermitage the new Hermitage, the large old Hermitage. I mean, could they have not really thought of better names to distinguish all the different buildings? I know for a fact that yesterday I really did cover the Winter Palace section really well. So today I'll be focusing on the new Hermitage, I believe is the area that I haven't really been into yet. And where we are right now is kind of the Roman and Greek antiques. So. This is where we're going to begin. We are back to the main grand staircase and that is the end of my Hermitage journey for now. I think I still did actually miss quite a few rooms and I really tried but it is just one of those places that even if you walk the whole thing it's not like you're actually reading about it it's not like you're actually you know knowledgeable about everything you see because that would literally take weeks or already a very extensive art knowledge, which I don't yet have. But I greatly enjoyed my time. I would highly recommend visiting the Hermitage if you guys get the chance. And if you do have extra time, I'd also say go for the two day package because in one day, honestly, just see like a bit, unless you are rushing through it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. And I am currently off to the Marinsky Theater to take in the ballet, which I'm very excited about. So that will be its own vlog. And if you guys do enjoy my videos, make sure you are subscribed and turn on notifications so you know when I actually post. And for fun behind the scenes type of things, make sure you're following me on Instagram as well. But other than that, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Keep being your own kind of beautiful and I will see you soon. Bye guys. Bye.